no big class of 15. No, as we had the over slides, you know, Cindy looked like I'm getting donations. <laughs> 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 okay, so, I should be bothered that I'm getting so bothered. For fun, like we're handing over. These are all what? Mucus secreting glands right here. Right? These are all mucus secreting glands. Okay, and juxtaposed to this are the more um, acidophilic, the more brightly stained with eosin. So there we see the, um, the serous component. So this is a mixed gland that we're looking here, and a serous gland. And there we see the muscle fibers. So this glandular tissue is now um, interspersed between the muscle that's very close to the lamina propria as we go into the mucosa here lots of glandular tissue that's a nerve right here so this is most likely an autonomic secretor motor nerve that's a nerve right here in LS longitudinal section that's very much involved obviously with the secretor motor activity of these glands so that's a nerve right here and that's a muscle fiber right here Okay. So there are lots of nerves coming in, and the ducts of the gland, that's a duct there, lined by cuboidal epithelium. And this, these glands look like they're very much associated with the circumvallate papillae. And these ducts will open into the valus. So hopefully we'll see a nice circumvallate papillae, and this, these are the glandular tissues. But the only thing is that the actual circumvallate papillae the planar section has missed the circumvallate papillae. But these are some beautiful ceramucous glands here, mixed salivary glands. So a mixed lingual glands. Whereas these ones here now are purely what? Mucus. Alright? These are purely mucus secreting glands right here. Whereas right here they are mixed, both serous and mucus. Okay? Um, yes, so you see right here. I think we are right at the edge, this is a nice, this is a very interesting slide, we are right at the edge of a circumvallate papillae. So this would be part of the valus or part of the space that would surround the circumvallate papillae. So we are right near the sulcus terminalis of the tongue and this is just at the periphery of the circumvallate papillae. And we have missed the papillae on this particular slide, but what have we encountered? a lot of the glandular tissue associated with that circumvallate papillae. Alright. No. Um, so that's why I'm going to go there. So let me look on um, this particular slide. Right here. So what's happened is that we're starting, you see, with the histology for the, the senior, the junior class. We're going into evening classes with them now. We're going into three histology groups. So it's quite a chaotic thing trying to get all these students organized. So most of my nights last night was spent trying to organize them because I don't even have a class list for them. So it's a bit of a rough story. I have about 270 of them trying to sort them out. On this side here, Sadly, there are no papillae, all right? No papillae on this slide. That's one of my slides. That is over there, love. Okay. Let me just look at a couple more of my slides, and then I get back to your own. Okay. I will, for the next lab, um, get some um, slides. Maybe some better slides to show the uh, ability. Any more slides on the tongue? Let me just go through a couple of them, just give me a minute here. 